is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we have a brand new ringside exclusive aew unrivaled action figure set review on the brand new aew unrivaled blood and guts exploding barbed wire death match john moxley and kenny omega two pack now if you guys want to pick this set up it is ringside exclusive you can see it here it is a ringside exclusive if you want to pick this up you will have to go over to their website use promo code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent when shopping over there select priority shipping you'll basically get free fast shipping when you use code MD Toys at checkout. So punch in code MD Toys, select priority shipping, and you'll get the really good shipping for almost free, and it gets to you way quicker than any of the other selected options will do. But here's the front of the packaging, man. This packaging is massive. I thought for sure that it was going to be slim, kind of like the Cody TNT Champion one, you know what I'm saying? Like on the side over here, I thought it would be half the size that it is, bro. It is It is a very big figure set. It, it, it's very nice. It's a great piece. If you're a mock collector, this is an awesome piece. I love this. You guys can see the sparks coming off, and you got the barbed wire running all the way down the ring ropes. You got the smoke, blood, and guts. Very sweet two-pack, man. Like, if you didn't pick up any other two-pack they've released to this point, this is by far and away the best two-pack we've seen compared to, especially compared to the Blood Brothers and the Amazon exclusive ones. These are insane, man. So you guys can see you have John Moxley and Kenny Omega here. The packaging right here is better than the explosion we got at the match. You got some nice blue tones going on, blood and guts down here. Exploding barbed wire death match. Got their names, 17 pieces. On the top, it does say Blood and Guts. You got a good window in there. On one side of the packaging, you got AEW, the AEW Championship, and some accessories. Unrivaled Collection, number 62. And then on the other side, you got AEW, some interchangeable hands, some more stuff, and then Blood and Guts, Exploding Barbed Wire Deathmatch. And then spinning it around on the back, we do have a beautiful Kenny Omega signature, John Moxley. You got the date of the event. You got both of them headbutting in the middle of the ring. You got Blood and Guts, John Moxley, Kenny Omega, all the good stuff. And on the bottom, it gives you instructions on how to attach the barbed wire to the table, so that's pretty cool. Nonetheless, man, that pretty much wraps up our beautiful packaging on this Blood and Guts 2-pack from Ringside Collectibles. John Moxley, Kenny Omega, man, let's pop them out of the package and figure out if they are worth the pickup or not. Find out what the hell these guys are about and see if they do indeed explode. Oh, my God! John Moxley and Kenny Omega out of their packaging, man. Liking what I'm seeing so far, I like these figures a lot, man, out of the packaging. We have gotten multiple Kenny Omegas. We've gotten multiple John Moxleys. We've gotten lots of blood before, so mixing all of those things together, we got weapon packs and, like, it's... This two-pack for me is kind of like taking some of the things we've already seen from Jazzwares and AEW, rolling them into a ball play set and throwing it at us, you know, with your accessory barbed wire weapon packs. You have your Moxley Kenny Omega figures that we've seen. You've got your blood and guts. It's kind of rolling that all in together and throwing it at us and I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. I've had some fun posing these guys around. I've taken a look at their accessories a little bit and that's what we're going to do man. We're going to dive into their accessories first. Show off everything that you get with this two pack of Kenny Omega and John Moxley then we will dive into the figures themselves and take a look at some comparisons between these Kenny Omega and John Moxley figures compared to our previous releases that we've seen so far. Alright man so for the accessories that you get with this two pack it's quite a bit right? So you have your two standalone figures that are all bloodied up with their stuff going on with their figure then you get two tables six sets of strands of barbed wire two cloth shirts a steel chair with barbed wire wrapping around it that i think you can undo yourself you have the baseball bat that also has the piece of barbed wire that goes around it four pairs of interchangeable hands and then an aew championship combine that with your sick packaging i feel like it's a pretty daggum good deal nonetheless man let's dive into what we got going on let's start off with our cloth shirts over here and this is mox's shirt you guys can see it has mox it says no quit in blood drain down the skull's face. That's a sick design, bro. Oh my god. Got the black cloth goods there. Their shirts are a little bit weird how they have like, especially, I feel like it's only on black shirts. They have like this rectangle cut out of the graphic. It's like the background of the thing. Instead of just having the individual graphics slapped on the shirt, they do have that black outline stuck on there, which isn't a huge deal breaker. I'd still prefer the cloth goods over it, but this is a very nice shirt design. Pro Wrestling Tees and the Shop AEW, their design team is just so incredibly talented. They have the best graphic design team I've ever seen. Seen, I think. It does have Velcro on the back like we've seen. Then you have the beautiful custom shirt that Kenny Omega had made for this matchup, which is just so sick. Like that old school style shirt is so beautiful. It's got Barbara Deathmatch there. It looks just like the shirt. It does have the blood stains on it because it is mid-match. Would be really cool to get another one of these packs and make a pre-match Kenny and then your post-match Kenny that's all bloodied up. Get one of these made, but it has the blood on the front going down there. You do have the Velcro on the back. It's a great looking shirt, man. I, I like it a lot. I actually want this shirt. I think it's on Pro Wrestling T 
Tees.com. I'll have to check it out, but this is one of those shirts that I did want to purchase for myself. Outside of the cloth goods shirt, we also get interchangeable hands. I do believe these go with the Moxley figure. As you guys can see, the white tape going around with the blood. He does have his wedding tattoo or band on there. Yeah, I think it's a tattoo. He has a tattoo of his wedding band. So that these are the Moxley hands. And then for Kenny Omega, he has his entrance hand. So you get the shooter hand, kind of like Cactus Jack looking right. You got the hand tape, the blood, finger tape going on with these, which is really cool. And then out of the packaging, they just have weapon wielding hands that don't have tape on them. We also get an AEW championship that we've seen before, but this one looks really crispy. I like that. You can actually clasp it together a little bit better than previous AEW championships. So this is great. I, you know, my collection of these is just adding by the daily. We also have our baseball bat accessory that we've seen quite a few times, and you can slide this off. So if you guys would like to do that, you can. Like if you, you can finagle it and have like a regular baseball bat, and then you can pull it up to have your barbed wire baseball bat. So that's pretty cool there with the sculpt wrapping around in barbed wire. We've seen this before. We also have our steel chair that we've seen quite a few times as well, and it does have barbed wire wrapped around it. And I, you know, again, you can just kind of slide this off here. You know, you just kind of finagle it, and you can pull this off and have a regular black steel chair. And then you can use this that's pre-wrapped to wrap any weapon you want, which is really cool. Then you also get six different strands of barbed wire like we saw with those weapon packs way back in the day, so you can stretch these out. And again, you can wrap these around anything, man. You can wrap these around anything that you want to. You can wrap it around the ring ropes and stuff like that. We have so many different packs and stuff. I feel like we've gotten enough barbed wire from AEW and Jazzwares now that we could. You could have the craziest barbed wire match of all time with all the different barbed wire that we have. But since you do get six of these, as you guys can see, you do get your standard folding table. And we've seen these before. They do have the crack down the middle. They aren't like a matte black finish. So you have the crack down the middle. You can put people through it. We will do an example of putting people through it. That's just what we have to do. But if you want to stretch these out, I think it says that you can pull these out and you can hook it on the underside of the table over here and then go down and you can and wrap it on the other side. So there you go. You can put all those different strands on there and have a crazy barbed wire tabletop going on and slam people through it, which is what we're going to do right now. Oh, Mark, so he's got Kenny Omega off for the paradigm shift. Oh, my God. He put him through both tables. Paradigm shift. Oh, my God. He put him through both So starting out with Moxley at the top of the head sculpt, man, this is pretty much the Series 5 Chase Mox figure without the eye patch. So that one was screaming, and this one's screaming here, as you guys can see, but it doesn't have the eye patch over the right eye. It does have the blood going on right there, hair sculpt going on. I like this head sculpt. I think it does favor Mox and everything. I'd really like to see this head sculpt without blood for other Mox figures, but I do like it. I, I like it a lot. I wish we had more of a fade in there. I'm pretty sure he had a fade. It wasn't like this this bold over here. Might customize that. I don't know. Going down, nonetheless, I like the the expression same torso we've seen before got the blood going all the way around he does have his white wrist tape on there it's kind of got like a grungy look to it but i do like the blood spatter that we have all the way around i wanted to review the figures without the shirts on because you guys already saw them with the shirts on there so we will put them back on later but got the cool blood all the way around all the way on the back and stuff like that i do wish the blood had a more realistic look instead of so kind of cartoony i guess but at the same time i still you know i respect it i still like it a lot you know you got it going down i love the pants that mox has going on right here like the gray flat sort of color going on it's kind of like a light jean color see in the match though i'm pretty sure they were like a darker black gray but you know this isn't terrible it's a good base color i guess you could like dry brush black over it maybe but i still like the way they look and stuff like that i want to make some different fix-ups so i may have to get another one of these two packs i do have my mock one i have my loose one now for review and then i may pick up an extra for fix-ups and stuff but i do like the gray matte pants going all the way down same legs we've seen before same boots that we've seen before with mocks but there is the mocks figure standing straight up. We are going to get into some comparisons real quick. And here's the ringside exclusive Exploding Barbed Wire Deathmatch Moxley 2-pack figure up next to the rest of our Moxley regular releases outside of the Amazon 2-pack, which is just a re-release of this figure, and the Chase Variant Series 2 and Chase Variant Series 5 Moxes. But here's the Series 2, the Series 5, the Series 8, all of them unrivaled, and then the, of course, ringside exclusive 2-pack down here. We did get a re-release again in the 2-pack Amazon exclusive with Darby Allen. We did see this Moxley figure, but this is all of our standard unrivaled releases up to this point and I still feel like this is the best mox like straight up I like the head sculpt I like the skin tone of this mox I did adjust the height so that is why he's shorter over here I actually adjusted the height to be more accurate and I still feel like you know these are kind of on the taller side this one is actually uh I guess the same height as the rest of them but maybe that head sculpt adds like a little bit to it but they definitely make mox too tall it's just one of those facts I wish they would you know lower him down there he needs to be more of this scale over here here they are up 
next to each other. I would I wish they would improve the formula a little bit. Just like he just his legs, man. His legs and his torso get really loose on you if you pose him around a little bit. But that is your Moxley figure comparisons. So starting out with Kenny Omega, man, we do have a brand new Kenny Omega head sculpt diving in here, and it's pretty cool. You have like his hair all natted here with the blood going on. Not my favorite likeness, but it's not bad. I feel like, you know, if you if you wanted to customize it, put it on a regular Kenny, we are gonna do a head swap in the comparisons part of the video just to see what it looks like. I did forget to do that for Mox, but I'll go back and get that in there. We do have the nice Kenny Omega torso going on. We got the blood soaked. You got the wrist tape. Basically, just a Kenny Omega upper with the blood on it, just like Mox over there. You got it on the front and the back, just like Mox. So you have some cool paint of blood going down the back there. Pretty cool. It continues that strand of, of drippage right there. We do have this new, like, pants mold right here. And I want to say these are... No, I think these are completely new. I think this is all sculpted, man. I think this is all completely new sculpted. You have, like, your jeans sort of crotch piece and then into your upper thighs that are all wrinkled because of the knee pads. And then you have, like, the flattening down here that does have a nice articulation cut right there, which is kind of cool. But not the most detailed figure, right? Like, it's not, like, over-the-top crazy detailed, but it's still a really fun and cool figure. And I bet if you wanted to, like, take these knee pads off, you know, pop the torso off and put some other guy on there, you can make a lot of different street gear, guys. So he does have his knee pads on there. He did wear knee pads at that event, but you do get a nice boot rotation here, which is cool. I feel, I swear to God, they put that in just for me. That's, so that's just what it feels like. I always make a big deal out of them not putting the, the boot cut in, so they were like, oh, if we don't do that, you know, he's gonna rip us up. No, but seriously, though, they do have the nice rotation there, and uh, he has great articulation. Upper thigh cut, you get the double jointed knee. Figure feels really good in the hand and tight. Like, it doesn't feel wobbly or anything, so that's really cool, but Kenny Omega is pretty cool, man. Let's get into our Kenny Omega figure comparisons. So here's our Kenny Omega figures in order of release. I do have the ringside exclusive, you know, exploding barbed wire over here, but I just wanted to see this. I can't remember if the 1B or the Series 4 Unrivaled came first, but you have the Series 1A, the ringside exclusive authentic scale ring Kenny, the Series 1B Kenny with the corrected skin tone, the Series 4 Unrivaled, and then the Series 1 Unmatched. We do have that AEW or Shop AEW 1 in 3000 exclusive coming, and then you do have this one. And I'm just so thrilled to have more Kenny Omegas, man. That's that's probably why I own like 14 of this figure, which is just absurd. I do own quite a bit of this one as well. I love these figures. I just think the pants look cool. The head sculpts are insane. And having this one here, I do want to pop this off here so we can see what this would look like. If you guys wanted to make like a pre-match Kenny, that looks pretty damn cool. So you do have the, the unmatched, you know, half top, and then you have the ringside exclusive bottoms on there. And then all you gotta do is put a custom shirt on there. Or I guess you could throw the other one on there, but it will be bloody, so there's that. But this this Kenny does look cool like that. And you could literally pop that on anything. So I do want to see what the ringside exclusive bloody head looks like on the unmatched body. Just to kind of, you know, just to see what it looks like here. So if you were having a match and, you know, Kenny Omega got busted open, that is what that would look like. So you'd have your unmatched Kenny battling and then he get busted open, and then you would have your ringside exclusive head sculpt on there to, to signature the blood and, and stuff like that. The air's a little bit different. You know, it's not completely the same, but you can still get away with it. Pretty cool stuff. You think I'm kidding, bro? I think, I want to say I have four Lucy's of this, and then I know for a fact I have 10 or 11 on card, so that's just, please, God, help me. And then doing the Moxley swap like I promised. Here is that, and I guess we can pop on the Series 8 torso and stuff just to kind of see what he looks like playing Jane. So you do have that look, which is pretty cool, but I think the Series 2 is probably going to be the money maker. So taking the series two, popping that off. This is the best skin tone for me. I like this skin tone the most for Mox, but yeah, dude, look at that right there. That's freaking genius. So there's the series two Mox head torso on the exploding barbed wire death match lower of Mox. But I think that pretty much wraps up this ringside exclusive exploding barbed wire death match blood and guts AEW and rival two pack of John Moxley and Kenny Omega man. Had a ton of fun with the review. I love both of these figures that come in this two pack. I think there's a ton of stuff on the bone here man. Plenty of meat to go around for the whole entire family man. You get accessories you get weapons, you get titles you get great figures, you get good movement. I mean this is everything in one. If I was a child, I mean I'm still salivating at the mouth because I'm a child myself still, you know what I'm saying? But if my younger self, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 year old self was getting this in my hands, I mean, we had some great playsets back in the day, but these right here releasing on a regular basis like this, it's just insane, bro. You gotta, you gotta cash in. Use code MDTOYS. Go over there to Ringside Collectibles. Cash in on this. You gotta grab these figures. They look incredible. They look insane. They play around 
perfect. These fit in any fig fed around the entire nation, man. I love these. I think they did a great job on them. They're not without their faults like we discussed in this video. However, I still think they're definitely worth the grab for any AEW fan that loves action figures. Kenny Omega or John Moxley, this is a great piece for your shelf. I love the way these look and how they're going to display. So head over there, ringsidecollectibles.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I'm getting the hell out of here. Had a ton of fun with the review, man. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below what you think of the two-pack. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I am getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line and not get this two-pack. If you, if you do not get this two-pack, you cross the line. I've been